We're parked up here on some BLM land, which means we're boondocking for free, but it also means there's no amenities, no hookups, no water available, but it also means we get to stay here for 14 days for free because we have enough supplies on board to last that long. We've been here before to Indian Bread Rocks, but we've never parked in this exact spot with this extremely grand view over this valley and still all the rock formations on the other side of us. And we are also parked next to some other bus friends that we met at Palooza, although we knew them online before that, um, Red and Frizzle. You might have seen last week's episode where Red took a spill on his motorbike when him and Mike went for a ride. That was some exciting footage. So um, that actually just happened yesterday. So um, we're going to go check on him this morning and see how he's doing. Good morning. Good morning. Came by to check on Red, see if he's still alive. He is alive. How are you, oh, Frizzle? Great. Hell of a job you did. Oh, you saved him. <laughs> yeah, I know. Is he? I'm, oh, go I, ahead. I'm a little frazzled. Ah, oh, Frizzle, frizzle frazzle. Yeah. No, I'm good. He's he's doing okay. He's uh was in pain most of the night. He was up way early and didn't uh, sleep real well, so uh, yeah. I had to turn the generator on way early for him. And uh, then of course I was up way early, but no, he's doing okay. He's just in pain. Well, yeah, tell, tell Red we're thinking about sure. it. And I'm for sure making dinner for you guys tonight. Oh, God, you know what? It doesn't have to be tonight. Like, if you're oh, no, busy and taking care of him or, you know. He's fine. <laughs> he's a handful. He's, he's, he's going to be really gonna busy. He's going to be in bed. He's got TikTok and YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. He's, he's good. good. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Plus, I have an Instant Pot. Throw everything in there. Oh, I nice. I have a really great recipe. I asked him, what do I cook for people that impresses them that I make that you love? And he's like, oh, do this. I'm like, great. I already have it defrosted. I just throw it all in. We're good. So Sweet. Good. You guys get a really good frizzle meal. Well, I'm excited. Thanks. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. You. Thank you. All we'll right. see you later. Have a good one. Okay, bye. <laughs> My friends, we owe you an apology because frizzle did cook for us. And we got so swept away in the moment that we didn't even pick up the camera. So let me just tell you, she made this incredible Asian dish with pork in some delicious sauce over a bed of rice with seasoned green beans and spring rolls with peanut sauce. I mean, she really went overboard on this whole meal. And not only that, while she was preparing the food, Red went outside and set up a table and chairs with a tablecloth and cloth napkins the whole nine yards. And although the wind had been blowing all day, right before they brought the food out, the wind completely died down. The sun had already gone behind the mountain, so we had this perfect atmosphere and perfect temperature for our meal. And then I made a five cup salad for dessert, so we had that too. And then when it did finally start getting chilly outside and getting dark, we all came over to our bus and hung out and chatted and laughed our heads off for a couple of hours. So we had a really good time and I just wanted to apologize that, like I said, we got caught up in the moment and didn't pick up the camera. And I think that is just, um, part of the reality of bus life. But anyway, since Michael's at work today, I'm just going to take this opportunity to edit and we'll see if we can do better next time. A lot of vehicles parked down where we parked at. <laughs> Looks like one of them's a bus, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it is a bus, but it has top mounted. Uh, it, it might be like a Bluebird Wander Lodge. We've come down a notch from bird watching. <laughs> <laughs> We're neighbor watching. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a. It might be a bluebird wander lodge. Oh yeah. Oh, so we are still bird watching. <laughs> <laughs> In a sense, yeah. I want to go see that bus down there. You do. The wander lodge. Okay. We're too lazy to walk all the way down there, so we're gonna spy on them with our fancy drone. <laughs> Well, we're probably going to spy on with the drone and then walk all the way down right. there. <laughs> and you guys, I'm joking when I say spy. We're not like 
being creepy spying on people. We're just looking at the other rigs that are parked around this campground. I promise we're not creepers. Okay, there it is right there. It's definitely a bus. Looks nice. There's no solar on it though. It's a coach. He has solar panels on the ground outside. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, it's us! He's back! Alright. Now that we've scoped it out with the drone, we're just gonna walk down there and check it out and get our dignity exercise in so yep. we don't get too fat living the life in the bus. <laughs> with all my bacon. That's right. just met Jacqueline and Clint in this gorgeous crown bus. So um, they ha have been kind enough to let us uh, see inside the bus. You're not traveling full time, but it's no. been about a year, you said? We worked on the bus for um, almost one year. We just uh -huh. owned the bus for what, a year and a month now. Okay. We've owned it. Okay, We've been on so. the road for two months. Okay, so that's yeah. what I was going to ask is how long, what length of time do you get to go out on the road? Yeah, yeah, just about, you know, I mean, we're retired, so it's kind of like just whatever you feel like yeah we have we were in it for what a month and a half but then our refrigerator broke so we had to go back home so we know that story <laughs> you know but yeah the bus we um we worked on it for a year like she said i did most of the mechanical she did most of the wood and she did she'll show you here in just a minute all right cool. awesome let's, let's go check, check it out inside yeah. And it's a 1964 Crown, and I believe it was a, it was a transit bus. Gwen Tori. Tori. Come on in. Oh, so the, beautiful work. So the wood, we redid, we rebuilt the dash. It's, um, it was actually, uh, these were actually uh, redwood fence boards that uh, he saw down. So they're like, you know, you get a fence board for what, four bucks, five bucks? Super nice. And uh, just sawed it down and sanded it. Is that a, like thing? four, how many, how many speeds is this thing? Uh, it's ten a 10 speed. 10 speed, how yeah, cool. We, I would he made love this that. Because yeah, I didn't know what the. He didn't know what the shift pattern was and the one that was in here was uh, wrong. Oh my goodness. So we took it out. Oh, that would be, her oh, this is beautiful, you guys. Wow. Uh, we still oh have to redo gosh. the dinette set itself because it's Not ugly. Real we don't like that. Uh, right. We redid the table. She did. He, um, we built the bookshelf. And we loved your advice about the 12 volt lights. Isn't that so great? Just go in by regular so light. Great. I like the size of your light actually <laughs> better than ours. We didn't know ours was going to turn out to be as huge as it was. That would actually fit. Yeah, better. whenever he watches your videos, he goes, I don't like that light. It's way too big. <laughs> exactly. We had no idea it was going to be that enormous. Well, we didn't right. have no, we small. had no idea that you could buy 12 volt bulbs right? that screwed in. So we just bought these lights yeah, at we, Lowe's. We got that from oh. you guys. And, uh, Where you got to see them in person when you picked them out. Right. right. <laughs> True. Very smart. He built all the cabinets and everything. And then Dude, they don't look bad to me. We wow. did. Great. Uh, we did whitewash so that it would help reflect some sure. of the light. Yeah, yeah. The countertops are uh, live, live, live edge uh, eucalyptus out of Yuma. Man, I've never we, seen anybody uh, use eucalyptus for yeah, beautiful. Awesome. Sanded them down. This was just a piece of driftwood we found out in the desert. Oh, sure but since again. we wanted to leave the, the, we wanted to use the big microwave since it came with the bus and it's a convection microwave. So since. It stuck out so far. We wanted just in case sure. it decided to pull the cabinet down. Yeah, no, support, I could see that. Right? But it's not uh, touching it yet. The floor in here is also the fence boards, and oh, our so engine. Nice. We're mid engine, oh, really? so we had to have access to our engine. So it's like a puzzle. So this part from where you are 
to back here is one piece because we have to have engine access underneath the floor. So you can lift wow. that. So we can Section lift out? it out. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's we genius. I never even see it comes out in pieces. Oh my god. Wow. That's just genius. The match the backsplash over there. The butcher block tops like. Yeah. You know, nice. built the cabinets. Vented the fridge. And then we have a fan in there to uh, suck the air out. Oh, oh nice. nice. We have a little fan sure. yeah. to keep the refrigerator cool so it'll be efficient. Right, cool. right. Oh, yeah, I get that. Yeah. We I had get to that. do that too. I did that recently on our fridge. I like that, uh, like brick stone looking yeah, tile. It's, it's or it is stone. Huh? It is tile. Yes, he put all this in and then uh, built our shower. It's a. Uh, Oh, I uh, love it. Blue, See, blue pine. Totally wow. could have done that. Super nice. Well, you guys yeah. have. Yeah. You know, I, I was scared to put wood in a shower. I thought it would end up like getting water deposit on it and getting messed up. We just put like three or four coats of like water sealing on wow. it. Wow. He ended up putting a bench in here. Uh-huh. Because he can't stand up sure. to shower oh. without hunching yeah, over. Yeah, right. So he's able to sit right. on the bench and then shower comfortably. A shower run oh, like this. Oh, that? I've never even seen one of those before. So when you shower... Move that again. <laughs> oh, wow. I want that. So when that. you're showering, he can, you know, when you're showering, you have that little bit of extra space. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Elbow room. Yes. <laughs> So, I didn't know that existed. Wow. Me either. I don't even know how you would find that online. Since he's so tall, right. I didn't want to put a spigot back here, so I wanted a round bowl. Uh -huh. And it, it's copper. That's so that beautiful. he can stand on this side and he can sure. wash his hands right. without yeah, bumping and be in the top part of the bus. Right. right. Oh, this is you know? great, you guys. And, and then um, these were just two by fours. I found them on the freeway. Uh huh. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> so he sawed them down and. Uh, Made the, made the doors that for storage, Pretty and we cool. have the wood back here also, like the same. Is as that the open? Oh no, it's just clean. No, this is just. <laughs> it's so, not really. It's clean. a huge piece of glass, though. Yes, it like, is. Like I'm not used to seeing that actually. I yeah. like this. I like. And then really the curtains. Nice. I just put them on. Uh, Who does the climbing? Tracks. Who do you think? <laughs> it's always the woman, right? Yes. Yeah, but you could We're probably so touch your toes. Like I couldn't touch my. I would die if I tried to touch my toes. <laughs> this yeah, is really a, beautiful. I love it. You. Oh right. yeah, just this. Oh, they have the over the sink. Yes, we got that too. idea from you. Oh, you built that. Oh, cool. Yes, we do have that. And then awesome. I'll be seeing another live edge here. Yeah, it looks great. And um, that's about it in a nutshell. Yeah, in a bus you yeah, guys beautiful. did a fantastic yeah, job. Beautiful. Like sometimes you walk into a bus, and it's built out and it has the amenities and everything. But sometimes you walk into a bus and you feel like you're in a house. You feel like you're in a home where it's it's welcoming and warm and, and you, you don't feel awkward or you don't feel like you're trying to, you're not sure if you should sit there or something. And that's what this bus was. It was so nice inside. They did such a wonderful job. It's been 45 minutes. No sign of anybody. I don't know if I'm gonna find my way back to the bus. I need water. Water. If anybody finds this video, tell Carrie I love her. Oh, get up you big baby. The bus is right there. Okay, while you're on the phone, I'm gonna go visit next door. Okay, cool. As we found out at Schooly Palooza, it's always fun to go to where somebody else's bus. Do you mind if I bring the camera in? Not at all. Cool. We have these jacks up underneath. I know, I need to get down and get a close up of those for sure. Are these the, what do they call, are these the scissor jacks? They're scissor jacks, they're 7,500 pound a piece. So there's two of them in the front? Yes, they are, they're the more expensive ones you're going to find on Amazon. I can send you the link for them. Okay. But they are worth buying the better ones for. Um, they have enough power, and this is a front engine, they have enough power to lift the whole front end off the ground, tires and all. Wow. And I just use a, a drill, just drill them up, oh, and then it's super easy. Super easy peasy. Yep. I just need to actually mount them permanently underneath there so that I don't have to pull them out and put them underneath every time. I can just get underneath there with the drill and, and done. All right, 
right now we have it all. Oh, I like your curtain in the front. That's <laughs> such a good idea. We just don't have that, at least not yet. Yeah, so, uh, and then the stuff that I was telling you about that right. is adjustable, which I absolutely love this step. Yeah, Come that is handy. pretty neat. Hi, Ava. Are you excited to see who's here? Oh, hi. Okay, there's Bo. Bo, I'm Carrie. Hello, Carrie. Nice to meet you. Nice. Ava, no. Gosh, I love the painting. Let me guess. Did Frizzle do the painting in the kitchen? Yes, it's I all oops love paints. love it. Look at that. Isn't that dazzling? It needs to be cleaned. Everything needs to be cleaned. Everything needs to be cleaned. And our bus, too. Everything gets so much dirtier than a normal house, right? Yep, so we are totally not clean for, like, video perfection. Yeah, tour. no, we rarely are either. <laughs> <laughs> All natural sheep wool insulation, which does oh. absolutely amazing. It's three inches thick. It's on the walls and the ceiling. The floor you're standing on is three inches as well. Um, it's impressive you had the head space to add that much floor space. Yes, and it's with the stock roof. I and mean, you're, how, you're six foot tall? I'm six foot. Yeah. Built the cabinets and all from scratch. Um, so these are completely hand built from scratch. RV oven and stove in there. Um, yeah. Built this one purposely low at the bottom of the windows. Oh, nice. Uh, she has shoulder issues, so this solves the problem with her lifting her arms to stir the pots and things. Right. Everything's so much lower. Oh, but that's perfect. This one's more of your standard height, uh -huh. and that's because the sink goes down in. Uh, uh, yeah, it's recessed. So, so this, okay, the bottom of the sense. sink is almost the exact same height as this is. Oh, gotcha. That's wow. That's funny how that worked out. <laughs> it just kind of happened. And this was like at a rehome shop that we found this. Yeah, I like that. This everybody loves. Oh my gosh. Where did you even find that? Online or something? No, no. We found this in a vintage rehome or uh, restore shop oh in Houston. Oh my gosh. So it's a one in a million find. This is the vintage old school actually we have to cut our toothbrushes down because back in the day the toothbrushes were shorter we're shorter so yeah that's so we have yeah so we have to cut our toothbrushes down to make them fit every time we replace toothbrushes that's so nice that it's completely enclosed that yep. is super cool so that stays enclosed here's another thing a lot of people love is i recessed the steamer basket down into the counter so all nice. of our stuff goes in there yeah so custom i love it um all her spices because she loves to cook so she has quite a few spices Tons, yeah. Um, and then up here we have our toaster oven. Oh. Also, it's a um, convection. Our oh, fridge, that's nice. uh, which is almost the same as your fridge and freezer. Yeah. And then this, I will open for you. Oh here. my gosh, a five, deep freeze. Five cubic foot deep freezer. Wow. Some people just surprise you with the things they roll out in their bus. <laughs> yep. And that just rolls away. Oh, that's super cool. And we cool. have a bar that goes across when we're driving, keeps it in keeps place. Keeps it in place, right. Yep, yep. This oh, is the kid's bunk. The bunk. Nice. It's his bunk and his sticker collection. So he's been collecting stickers on the oh, road. Oh, that's cool. So he's got all the different bus people stickers that we've ran into. and. Oh, we definitely are bringing family over stickers. a sticker for sure. Bathroom is nice. just your nature's head composting toilet. The shower, which is storage. Oh, okay, but okay, but I wanted to see that dome up there. The skylight. So yeah. yeah, there's a skylight that keeps the ceiling height really high. It keeps the shower head tall. Right, and so this is on the wheel well. So you step up and then you step down into the shower. Oh, so okay, the shower. Gotcha. So, so it's so it's got like a seven eight inch uh, drop down from this floor down into the shower. So it drops down and has a raised ceiling. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's super nice. More storage here. Cool. Um, and then the there's like my massage tables in here. Oh, so you can even keep big stuff. Tucked yeah. Away so this is this is a big massage table. I didn't know you do massage. Uh, I do fire cupping massage. Really? That is unique. One of the many different things I can do while on the road to make a buck. And you do other things with fire as well. I, what is this yeah. fascination with fire? I Red. Oh no. <laughs> I, I am a fire sign. No, I, I don't know. It's just one of those things. Oh, you're a firebender. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Um, so over here is our extra closet. Uh, I'll scoot back this way. Oh. So we just use oh, the IKEA really bins. Nice. These are yeah, kids' bins from IKEA. We just made runners, and they have not slid out. They just go in real easy, and they're cheap. 
Mm -hmm. You have tons of storage in here, and then this Under the freestanding the, storage too. And over here, there's going to be a built-up steps where all this stuff will go in, and the diesel heater will go underneath of it. Okay. Um, and then the diesel heater will have running go out this way underneath all this. So the vent will be blowing out yeah, out here. Yeah, so we'll have vent blowing out this way, we'll have okay, vent blowing gotcha. out this way. Queen size bed. Um, right. Plenty of space. Yep, plenty of space, and it lifts up, and there's the 100 gallons of water underneath of it. Uh, along with a ton of storage. There is a storage garage kind of thing from the back door where our electrical stuff is, our water tank, it, oh, our nice. water heater oh, is. Here. It's all it's all behind that. Accessible okay, from cool. the back door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, accessible from the back door. <laughs> and our camp chairs and things like that. It's your water. garage. It is yeah. our garage. Totally. Yeah. Kind <laughs> of. The max fans are both here and one above the stove. That's we still have our emergency hatches both here and in front. We did not change those or get rid of them. That's an AC unit there. And there's one above the front window. Those are for driving. They do not run when the bus is off. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, okay. so actually that one's gonna get removed and I have a window unit that I'm gonna put, put in, in there. Space. <laughs> and because I never use that one when driving. Now the front one, I use when driving. Okay, gotcha. So, okay, that makes sense. So you'll have the front one for driving and one in the rear for when you're not driving. And then yeah. the one on the roof. And the one on the roof. I forgot about that one. Yeah. We're from Texas. I mean, we're afraid of the heat. Redundancy for us, having multiple ways to cook, multiple ways to heat, multiple ways to use your water or take a shower or wash your dishes, multiple ways to cool the bus down. That's always something we keep in mind. That's super smart. Lots of redundancy. Yeah, yeah. We have a little bit, but I don't think we have as much as what you just listed. <laughs> And that's about so, it. Well, I mean, thank you guys, ma'am. Awesome. This was a great little tour. It was fun to see your bus. I know it's a work in progress, but you I can wish, totally see what's you, going on I here. Wish oh, oh. You, the shower is the thing that's so great, and I wish it wasn't full of all of our storage right now and more finished, but like to be able to fully stand in there, and then if you wanted to take a shower under the stars, you really could in your warm bus, and you wouldn't right. have to worry about going outside, but it's yeah. just Oh, I'm is that what so you guys excited. do outside right now? We do yeah. showers outside. Okay. We have a number of different mm. options for that, tents and things, yeah. you know, and it's, like I said, redundancy. <laughs> Multiple yes. ways to do things. <laughs> yep, that's great. Well, yeah. thank you guys. I appreciate the tour. I appreciate You're your welcome. time. So I'll let you get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> she can get back to work. I'm going to turn the AC back hard. on because it's getting warm in here right now. Right on. All right. Well, thank you guys. All right. You're welcome. Well, it was great seeing you. Thank Definitely. you for having us. Oh, thank you no, that was helping. awesome. Finally be able to hang out with you guys. Spend a little time. <laughs> well, we're loading up too. Okay. Up. Yeah, it's yeah. been a big old schooly party. I right know, now, right? Everybody's leaving at the same time. It's such a bummer. For real. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. Take care. It's been good. Glad you lived. Oh yeah. <laughs> did you did you uh, weld your foot peg back on? Uh, actually, I got all new foot pegs. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not just the peg. I got a whole Don't bunch of new bike safer. parts. All right, you guys. Be safe. Your trip. <laughs> yeah, safe travels, you guys. Yeah, you. See you next time. Yeah. <laughs> Say bye, bus. We're kind of saying goodbye to everybody today. There's so many bus people here. Not only are Red and Frizzle leaving, but Paul and Lisa, who you've also met before, have been parked here right next to us too. Our little our twin bus up here. Twin here. bus. Yep. <laughs> so, and they're leaving today too. So. No, it's, hard it's, it's a time of goodbyes. I like your lawn. That's cool. Oh, do we get to come see the new dinette and stuff? Okay, I want to check it out. You guys have seen this bus before in our Schooly right Palooza video, but oh, you guys have that. a lot more space oh, now. Oh yeah, that's a lot bigger. Very nice. Wow. Oh, that makes a big difference, doesn't it? I think the whole dinette like only went to like two windows before, yeah, didn't right. it? Yeah, up a whole other window. So yeah, and, and this is a whole different tabletop? Yes. Much bigger. The other one is here, actually. So that's really oh. how big our table used to be. <laughs> it was very small. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, See, I just like the way your out. curtains turned out. So yeah. I'm this totally following your lead on I made these new little that. leather. Um, oh, you got new ties? Another, another leather ties. With rope on the leather. Yeah. But yeah, we can't wait to get on some on the road with you guys. And I know. I can't wait for us to get, get on the road. Break. Yeah. Go spear fishing together. Go hiking. Mm. I would love to go on some more adventures with, with, yeah. with you guys. And then we have some a few other people that 
we really love spending time with and just do like a big caravan to Mexico. Woo yeah, that would, that would be so, so fun. For that real, would be so fun. So cool. mm -hmm. Okay, before Paul and Lisa leave, I have to give you guys a quick update on the wild animal mural that Lisa has been painting on the side of the bus. Let's go see what's been new since Schoolie Palooza. about this life on the road is meeting back up with the people you've met again, which seems almost like, I thought it would be crazy for our paths to keep yeah. crossing, but it's so neat that it does happen that way. It's, and I'm glad we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a great hike through here. Hey. See you later. Good to take care of Really good to see you guys, yeah, man. Take on care. The road. Come on. We're trying. Get on the road. <laughs> take care, yeah. you guys. All right. There you go. So, all right. Okay. Oh, I said Mike there. Kong, but it's King. Okay. <laughs> King You're going to say this Kong. You know, I hate you now. <laughs> you guys, I right. be careful. Take care. Bye, we'll we'll see you in a couple right. months. Drive safe out there. Bye-bye. <laughs>